see you. Am I wearing the same outfit that I wore in my cover that I posted yesterday? Am I, is my bed a mess? Both of those things are yes, but that's none of your concern because today we're talking about something that I actually have been, I don't want to say avoiding, but I just haven't spoken about it yet. And as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about experience. For those of you who don't know, I um, came out with a single, um, I actually, just to get the specific, November 29th, 2021. I posted it, I posted a lyric video to it, I posted the BTS, but I never really spoke about it. Uh, I've, if I'm honest, for those who know a little bit about a little bit, I actually fell into imposter syndrome. For people that don't know what that is, I'm gonna just put that here. I just kind of felt like, what the heck am I doing? I don't fit in this space because I don't have this Beyonce, Renee Rapp, Adele voice. I just have my voice and my voice, you know, I've never gone to singing classes and things like that, which I will be, but we'll talk about that in another video. Moving on. So I kind of just fell into that kind of, that cycle of, I should not be here. This has nothing to do with me. I literally made this for what? But as of recently, I tend to go back and look at my videos and not just to be like narcissistic and like vain, but just to like look at what I've done, remove anything that's too cringy, which will probably happen if you see me remove stuff, just know it's because I thought it was cringy. I decided to rewatch my music video and listen to my song again and I fell in love with experience all over again, which I'm really happy about because it took a lot of effort and it was a group effort. So today, a little over a year later, we're gonna be talking about experience. This is so fun because I've never spoken about it. And it's interesting to finally get the chance to speak about it. So this song, I started writing in 2020. Obviously that was peak pandemic and everyone was stuck in the house. I have always sang, I've always liked to sing. I was a singer. For many reasons, I just kind of kept that to myself. Obviously I had posted covers on YouTube, but like the idea of making a song, one is kind of hard for me because my writing skills are not the best. I am not one of those, I'm not Charlie Poof where I can just, Oh my god that's a song you know what i mean like i i it takes a lot of time for me to write a song so when this idea came to me of writing a song about struggles with love and loving another person because of previous experiences i thought it was a fabulous idea actually ironically during that time i was with my ex and things ended up pretty badly with that person so it just fused the music more which i really appreciate um so thanks bud but uh this song was actually created it was a group effort me and my sisters they helped me because i was i had all these ideas and it, I just kind of came to like a creative stump when it came to the lyrics so we slowly figured it out I have all of the voice memos on my phone I don't know if I will share all of them I know that I teased on, t on like TikTok and on uh, YouTube I teased some things using the audios um, but I like to keep them they're a little personal we just started with a pen paper sitting in my living room i had this idea i think i wrote like the first line i can't quite remember what the first line that i wrote was but i really really liked it and i got so excited because obviously i'm not a songwriter uh, i mean i am but i'm not and so it was just it was cool so then i had this song ready mind you i'm not musically inclined in the sense of like guitar piano things like that i did once play piano in school and i was pretty good at it but i never learned how to read music i just played off of what i kind of heard and understood but i'm not that great uh with piano so i had the song with me and it was just kind of waiting there i would always go back to it and tweak it or things like that and i'm always writing something i have books and journals in my my freaking 
notes and voice memos on here are filled with just ideas of songs but that was the first complete song i had made my uncle helped me and introduced me to a musician here his name is alan guzman i have talked to him about that before you actually got to see i made a vlog about you know my emotions about meeting a producer and things like that and he was so gracious enough to take me under his wing um to make this song since i'm not the musical composer i had to kind of figure out what i wanted the song to sound like i used a lot of sound bites uh not sound bites but bits and pieces of different songs like i like the guitar um to sound a little bit like this song and i want the uh, the drums to sound like this or drums there's no drums in there the guitar or the piano or whatever the sounds that I used I I just found it off of different music that I liked and I sent him those clips I was like if you can make something that sounds kind of similar but not exactly because obviously copyright and I want my own song that'd be great it took it took about three tries I say three because there was an official last two tries the first one was a little too jazzy it was it was great and i probably still have it somewhere deep in the messages between me and him it was a great song but it wasn't me it didn't resonate with me it was too jazzy and and very like um Scooby -doo 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 -doo. like i felt like i had to scat <laughs> and it was great but it just wasn't it wasn't what i envisioned for the song then came the audio or the sound that you hear now when you listen to the song and there was one version where it started with guitar another that started with piano i adored the one with i loved both of them but the one with guitar felt more perfect i don't know how to explain it it just it kind of just sounded the way that i wanted it to sound so now that we had this sound i had to then practice on top of the sound what i wanted the vocals to sound like obviously i had already written the song i know what i sound like when i sing it but adjusting it to a song it's not complicated it's just a little different so then i got to go and record with him it was such an incredible experience and was just, it just filled me with serotonin and and that's when i kind of felt like i'm finally doing what i'm supposed to be doing which is making music and if my music isn't your cup of tea or my voice isn't your cup of tea totally fine like babe there's billions of gazillions trillions of musicians in this world I promise you, you will find what you like. But this is what I enjoy. This is what I like. This is what I want to do. I just struggle with writing songs. But anyways, so then came the fact that I am a visual person and really want music videos. I Or I really wanted a music video. Mind you, I had no budget. I don't have a film team. Like, I just had my my sisters my cousins and alan there helping me film luckily i do have a camera and my little sister has a camera too and then he had a camera so we recorded between those three cameras everything that we needed to record and we're actually going to go through that in a second because we're going to do a little reaction video ah! but the recording process was absolutely it was so much fun it was so nice i was a little stressed because obviously i'm my own makeup team my own hair team my own wardrobe team like i had to get everything ready so the way that i envisioned this in this song is that ideally this song is a back and forth uh the first verse and the first part of the song is an older version of me expressing how like there's just this wall around me about love and i just don't accept it because i've been hurt so many times and i'm just blocking it out basically then the second half is a younger me that did believe in love and was a little bit more of a hopeless romantic telling me that you never know and you need to kind of open up your heart and give someone a chance because that might be the person of your dreams or the person that's meant for you so i when i first thought of this video it kind of just came to me in a rush i just thought about wouldn't it be cool to just have this transition where it's older me and then it transitions into younger me but i want it to be fairy-esque and skirts and light colors and a beautiful view and mountains and it kind of just all rushed to my head and i made this pinterest board for it and i actually alan asked me to like separate the parts of what i want the cameras to be so that actually helped me visualize it a bit better i think i have that file somewhere um it's in my files in google or something and we finally planned a date i 
when I planned the day, I went ahead and got the skirts because the skirts were handmade. Luckily, the seamstress that I have here, is, she's incredible, worked super quick, literally had me, had the skirts ready for me the next day after I asked for them and I brought her the, the material. And then I had to go and find shirts and I found those shirts, I think, in Char Charlie's Loft or in Forever 21. And then the day comes. Um... I did do some searching for a location and I did a vlog on that and obviously in the BTS it shows the whole process of behind the scenes but let's react to the music video together especially because I know I can't get copyrighted because it's my song and I'll kind of walk you through more behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. I was the one that edited my song <laughs> I mean edited the video for my song um that's why it might be a little piss poor i mean i love it i think it's great um i had to figure out coloring on videos which i tried my best but i don't have a degree in this so it was kind of hard but we were in a we set this location in a place called orosi and it is this gorgeous mountain like hillside mirador which is like a viewpoint um, where most people go and take picnics, there were people there watching us film the entire time. But it was chill because we went super, su we went pretty early to one, take advantage of the sun and two, take advantage of it. it'll probably be a little bit more empty because we're on a weekend. It's a Sunday. We got to make money moves because people look, people love to go out on Sunday. Luckily, we were able to film all of it. Let's go ahead and get started. As much as you ask. Okay, so that there's a whole part where I'm singing, the whole part to where I'm singing to you the song. Meanwhile, everything is happening. I had to learn my lyrics super fast. Like, it wasn't as much as, it was as, much as you ask, my love won't be free. Because that's how, obviously, I think everybody knows that now. But when you slow down the video, that's how it's, it looks like your whole, everything slowed down except for your mouth, which I thought was really cool. My love won't be free. It has a simple task to keep you away from me. I had such long I nails. Don't I mean, I, I have them what too. I have to do to fall in love with you. Please don't see me through. Experience. Do you want to know something hilarious? Please don't see me. Hold on, I gotta get there. That mirror? It's called experience. We left it there. I was so because that this this part was the only scene that we needed the mirror for, which was the mirror effect of like the switch, and we're about to see it. I left it there. All of us left it there. Me, my cousins, my sisters, we left it there forgot it even existed moved on to the next place and it makes me laugh because i'm sitting here like damn somebody was in this park walking chilling and just sees a mirror i feel like they probably had an outer body experience because what is a mirror doing in a public park you know what i mean so that i actually still owe my sister a mirror because this was a uh, lupa's mirror anyways moving on yes. From a broken heart, it's called experience. Ah, she's so pretty. That's Ariana. Living in the dark, it's called experience. From a broken heart, it's just experience. I feel it about a star. You don't have to fake she's it. She's so pretty. She was such a great sport. Oh my god. If he tears it down, just take it. Showing you flaws. We see the struggle. Bless her. She did That's such a good oh. I cannot rave about obviously my sisters did so much and I rave about them all the time and I love them. But I cannot rave about how supportive my cousins were. Oh my god. I felt just like I never felt unmotivated that day. 
I didn't feel my body dysmorphia. I didn't feel anything because everybody around me was just so positive and just giving me the best vibes. And my my male cousin, my older cousin that you see, he's not older than me, but my my the boy, <laughs> Camilo, he was helping with like camera work and picking up stuff and getting things and all this stuff. Like they did so much. And I, I think I thanked them like a million times and I still thank them to, to this day. So just a shout out to them. I, I love you so much. Love that you can see my tan line. The amount of times we took that shot, <laughs> it was so cute because like, we wanted to get the right angle and God bless her. She's beautiful in any angle ever, obviously, but we wanted to make sure that it was just like the trees behind her. And so I was basically yelling at her like one, two, three, and look, like I was yelling at her to make sure <laughs> that she was looking at the right time. So bless her heart. Living in the dark, his cold experience. Those are eye drops. From a broken heart, it's called T, you want the tea? Let me kill the vibe for you. The wetness under my eyes, Vaseline and eye drops. I, I'm not a crier on cue. Don't know how to do that. And I wanted this last part to be emotional because I recorded it emotional. I intentionally recorded it to make it sound like I was crying. Because at the end of the song, basically the whole story is that I finally give in. And obviously when you give in to something, you cry because it's emotional and it's a lot of emotions going on. So, hence, I needed to cry. So, eye drops, water, and some Vaseline. Let me tell you something, works wonders. Experience. Living in the dark, it's called experience. It's like when you get emotional. From a broken Talk to heart, them. it's just experience. I feel it about to start. Mm -hmm. My shoulders look great. <laughs> My shoulders do, they look great. My skin looks soft. I want you to understand that that end clip bless oh my god i just i send all the positive energy and love in the world to them but my cousin and uh my producer struggled because <laughs> of the we were on a hillside and i am so gracious for alan because he genuinely had he like read my mind on most of the visions that I had and this was one of them like I told him I was like I want her to end up like laying on my on my shoulder and I just want you to pan out but I couldn't figure out how to pan out because we just have a camera on a stick like this obviously the stick is a lot longer because he you can see it in the video you can actually see like the process that we went through but he like read my mind somehow and magically made this up and made it perfect just the way that I wanted it all in all like overall I genuinely genuinely am so proud of that song I am so proud of that music video even though it's like not your like big person I love it it's beautiful it's exactly what I wanted for it however I also fell in love with the song again, and I think that there could be a project that I'm making up for it coming up soon. I don't want to give too much details because there's a lot of stuff that I'm that I'm thinking about and working on. So calm down, calm down. Unfortunately, it's not new music. I'm sorry. It has to do with experience. So 
New music will come, but you need to give me time. Give me time and patience. But for now, I might as well entertain you a little bit while using music. Why not? So I would just say keep your eyes peeled for any new surprises that come along the way. Any new teasers, things. Maybe like, share, and subscribe. Maybe turn on my bell notification because some good shit's coming. Maybe. And who knows? It's, you know, I think you just need to be there to experience it. Yeah, I did. Anyways, um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you are willing to stick with me for this ride and you have and if you haven't already heard experience go hear it because obviously i cut in between and you can't i'm on my desktop so you can't really hear like all the bits and pieces and the beautiful music and stuff that's going on within it so go and listen to it it is on spotify and it is on apple music just look up experience by paula and if you would like to see the visual then you can watch it here on youtube i have the official lyric video on there as well with english and spanish translation um so just go ahead go do that you should go do that because you love me that's why you watch me right even if you hate me you love me a little bit to wash me right so yeah um thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day your week your month and your year and i will see you again bye